CDC says more than 20 million shots have now been administered. Dr. Anthony Fauci calling the goal of 100 million vaccinations in 100 days, quote, a floor, not a ceiling. I would like to make no comment. I would like to make no comment. This is the no comment video. For if I make comments, <laughs> I will get a strike. And it's best to not get a strike. Because if you get three strikes, you're out. And I have a lot of videos on my channel here. And so I would just like to encourage you to go back in time in my older videos. I will comment and I will speak out on various things in my older videos but not on this video except I will say that the one you just looked at is an actor that's an actor too the defense production act shows that this is a war and this is World War III and it's right in line with my very first video that I made called the 80 year war cycle yes this fits perfectly into the 80 year war cycle so it's not the kind of war that I expected because all the wars that we've known have been with bombs and bullets and missiles. This one is a little different. But nevertheless, everything related to the topics that have been discussed in this news broadcast are definitely about World War III. So open up your eyes and realize that World War III is about an invisible enemy and that millions and millions and millions of dollars have been spent and that the debt that has been created will go on to the heads of every citizen and that's the way it's done the debt of war is placed on the average individual and he or she may never be aware of the fact that a debt has been placed upon their corpse with an oration and that's exactly what your name is your name in capital letters is a corpse with an oration or corporation. My name in capital letters is a corpse with an oration or corporation. Now, I didn't know this most of my life, but I now know it. And slammed onto my head has been the debt of previous war or wars 
I'm not sure exactly what war my corpse with oration has been paying for. I suspect that I've been paying for World War II. Now it depends upon your age as to what war your corpse with oration is paying for. But the fact of the matter is all debt accumulated by war is placed on the working population. And it may be a previous war that they weren't even alive for. So for example, if I'm correct in that I'm paying for World War II because of my age, I was not alive during World War II. I was born after World War II. So realize that as you watch these stories unfold by newscasters casting spells The deception comes upon the average individual and he or she is not able to break the deception. He or she is drawn into the deception. Stay outside of the deceptions. Stay outside of what is presented in the news network and stay only with the good news of the gospel of the holy word of God and if you abide in the word of God it is a protective barrier it is a hedge of protection to protect you from lies and liars and deceptions that have occurred in our land. So I would urge you to take the good news in of the Holy Bible and don't take in the news that is presented in newscasts like this one because remember newscasters cast something and they cast spells a broadcaster is casting something out into the air they are throwing seeds, but the seeds are seeds of deception. So stay with the one who will never deceive you, the Lord God, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, and you will remain solid and fixed permanent. When Jesus said that if you hear his words and obey his words and put his words into your life, you will be building your life on a foundation of a rock. But if you abide by the words of newscasters, it's like building your life on sand. And when a storm comes, the sand falls down. But the rock stays permanent. Now, anytime you see crowd dispersals, people injured, protesters, it's all staged. That's a Hollywood drama that you just watched with the cars there. 
was rehearsed. People all have out their cell phones because it's filming. Everybody's filming. Everybody. But it's presented to you as reality. Remember, there's real, R-E-A-L, and there's real, R-E-E-L. And if it's given to you on television, it's R-E-E-L. <laughs> and most people today can't tell the difference. So use discernment and tell the difference between real, R-E-A-L, or R-E-E-L. I'd like to thank you for listening to this and I would like to put out to you a blessing. I would like to be a blessing caster and cast a blessing to you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all blessings in high places, in spiritual places. And let the blessing of Jesus Christ be with you to counteract all the spell casting that's occurring in our land. Thank you for watching.